from the floods. The Ministry of Public Service and Youth Affairs has stopped payment of all pending bills at NYS. Public Service Cabinet Secretary Professor Margaret uh, Kobia says that her ministry has frozen NYS transactions until the probe on the 8 billion shillings scandal uh, is concluded. The CS did say that those found culpable of colluding uh, to defraud NYS will be punished. Uh, she also was uh, appearing before the Parliamentary Labour uh, and Social Welfare Committee. Uh, now we are joining uh, Sam Ogina uh, to tell us more on uh, this uh, you know, alleged scandal uh, at NYS and, and what exactly is going on there. Sam Ogina. Well, Joey, in fact, uh, this cabinet secretary was appearing before that committee to defend uh, their 2018-2019 financial budget uh, before the Labour and Social Welfare Committee. And, of course, uh, members of parliament uh, putting her to task, asking whether uh, they should trust her ministry again with billions of shillings, uh, given that uh, we are seeing whatever is happening already at the National Youth Service. Of course, uh, the cabinet secretary going, going ahead to say that uh, what they are doing as a ministry is she has directed that uh, they freeze all payments of all pending bills at the National Youth Service given that uh, now we are reporting at least 9 billion shillings has been lost. All investigators are actually uh, combing through documents at, uh, the, at the ministry uh, and of course the Department of National Youth Service uh, just trying to ascertain whether the 9 billion shillings is lost or what is uh, the situation. Uh, given that already we know uh, that senior officials at the, at the ministry, that is the, uh, the principal secretary and of course the director general at the National Youth Service have recorded statements and have downplayed the amount saying that uh, it's not uh, 9 billion shillings as reported but uh, of course uh, the cabinet secretary is stating that the measure she has taken to freeze payments uh, is really to ensure that uh, no further loss is incurred and of course to give uh, the investigation teams uh, that is the multi-agency investigation team to uh, make uh, their conclusion uh, and of course uh, the report that will be tabled uh, before her or presented to her uh, she's saying that uh, whoever will be found culpable of uh, pilferage or collusion uh, to defraud NYS any uh, amount of money they will be of course uh, uh, be punished for that particular matter saying that uh, even if it means that someone loses their job uh, then that is um, an action that she's willing to take but uh, of course uh, the ministry the mystery really at uh, the ministry uh, continues to deepen today uh, when uh, a group of suppliers at NYS have formed a consortium uh, calling themselves the genuine NYS suppliers and uh, this group includes of course uh, the youth people with disabilities and of course women uh, coming together are now saying that uh, whatever is happening at NYS uh, is not right given that uh, uh, or, rather, uh, or rather alleging collusion between senior officials at NYS and the ministry uh, to defraud not only the public but also genuine suppliers uh, at NYS their hard and uh, cash and of course uh, saying that after a verification of all pending bills were done uh, their their bills or their pending bills or their vouchers were cleared for payment but to debt uh, that has never occurred and of course they say that uh, their pending bills date way back to uh, 2013 the year 2013 2014 financial year to uh, to debt some of them have never been paid uh, despite despite having supplied uh, to the NYS and as such uh, saying that uh, they need uh, to be an action taken against those officials that are found culpable. Of course, uh, they went ahead to name uh, a few names uh, that you're not going to get into until we verify such allegations, but uh, uh, pointing at senior uh, officials at the ministry, senior officials at uh, the NYS, and of course, senior procurement managers at uh, NYS saying that uh, they are colluding with uh, certain friendly firms proxy firms uh, that are linked to them so that they are awarded contracts and tenders and of course some of them even without supplying uh, anything to NYS they are paid huge amounts of money of course when going ahead to actually pinpoint uh, a scenario where 1.2 billion shillings was paid to one of the suppliers that they say is a proxy uh, firm to uh, senior managers at NYS. And of course, uh, these are actually some of the things that have transpired today at the hearing at uh, uh, the Labour and Social Welfare Committee. Of course, members of parliament quite concerned whether they should continue pumping 
billions of shillings of public money to uh, the ministry and of course to uh, particular department of NYS remembering that uh, NYS since 2013 uh, their budget has grown exponentially from 6 billion shillings now uh, we are talking a, a figure nearly 20 billion in last year's uh, financial uh, year of course uh, NYS was allocated 16.8 billion shillings so of course those are some of the aspects that actually came out today here at the hearing uh, at uh, the Labor and Social Welfare Committee. Back to you at the Communication Centre, Joey.